Hi, I'm Jessica Chambers from Soaktide, and I'm here today to talk about alt text. Image, a red-headed woman with a black cat in her lap. What the heck was that? Not only did that interrupt me, it wasn't particularly useful information. If anything, that's better described as Jessica with her awesome rescue cat, Salem. The main purpose of alt text for images is to provide a description that can be read out for non-visual users. So the first thing you need to think about is whether or not that image even matters. Think about it. What if you were reading an article about the local town changing the pickup dates for recycling? Probably lots of important information in there. It has a picture over here of recycling bins. Does that picture really add anything to this post? Didn't think so. So how do you know when you need alt text? Things to consider. Does the image do something? Is it a button? Is it a link? Is it something you interact with? All of these need alt text to describe what they are and what function they perform. Make sense? Next up, is there text in the image? Is it a diagram? Is it an important photo or even a graph? Alt text to describe the information is needed unless it's somewhere else on the page, like a caption or this blurb over here. The key here is this. You must provide the same information no matter how someone accesses your website. All right, what if it's none of those things? What if it's simply eye candy? No description needed. Include the alt attribute, but leave it blank, like this. That way the screen reader will skip over it. Here's my quick rule of thumb for eye candy. WCAG calls these decorative images. Put your hand over the image on the screen. Did anything change? Do you feel like you're missing vital information? No? Blank alt text. And don't just skip the alt attribute. Bad things happen, like the file name being read out. Image. Screenshot the same. Here's some examples of better ways to handle alt text in your daily life. A simple one. Meme of Dr. Evil making air quotes. Text reads, disclaimer. Right. This one has more nuance. Meme of Kermit the Frog drinking tea. It usually has a prominent Lipton's tea label, but that has been photoshopped out. The meme text reads, I think we should all switch to a version where there's no tea bag in Kermit's cup. But that's none of my business. When you're sharing that Tumblr post or screenshot of a tweet, type in the text. If you've taken the screenshot, you can cut and paste most of that easily. Just stop interrupting me with useless information. So no photo of a redhead with a black cat. My screen reader is going to tell me it's an image. Tell me why it matters. Image, Jessica with her awesome rescue cat, Salem. Everyone deserves access to the internet. If you need help getting your website up to scratch, visit silktide.com.